Hi everyone. Today I will going to discuss about how to control the level of the water inside the tank. So let us consider some components here. So as I said, we are going to control the water height inside a tank. So for that, definitely we need to have a tank. And this tank height is almost equal to two meters. And we are having two pipes here: inlet pipe and outlet pipe. And to control the flow rate of the fluid which is coming from the pipe one, we are having one valve. And to control the volumetric flow rate which is coming out of the second pipe, we are using the second valve here, that is V2. Right? So now, if you look at the overall figure, you will be able to find there is a device called level transmitter here, and this level transmitter will measure the water level inside the tank, and it will convert this water level into current because Current is a very standard signal which we use in the process instrumentation. Now, this current will go to the error detector, and for this error detector, we are going to give the desired input and the uh, difference between the desired input as well as the measured value. Both will be uh, uh, subtracted by the error detector, and the error will be given to the level controller. That is, LC is nothing but level controller. Level controller is basically designed with the electronic components. So this level controller will go into generate current in the standard range of 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere. Whatever the current that is generated by the controller, that will be given to the I2P controller, I2P converter. I2P converter in the sense current to pressure converter because this current will be has to be converted to pressure before we are applying to the pneumatic control valve. So whatever the pressure that is generated from the I2P converter. That is flopper nozzle that will be given to the pneumatic control valve. When the pressure is applied to the pneumatic control valve, then the pneumatic control valve will be opened or closed depending upon the pressure applied to the pneumatic control valve. When the valve position is changed or when the valve opening is changed, then automatically the output flow rate will go to change. This is how all these devices are connected together to form the closed loop control system. Now, if you understand the things clearly the water level in the tank definitely it will be depends on the input flow rate as well as output flow rate now for understanding purpose i myself have taken some numbers and also taken some assumptions this is input flow rate here intentionally i have taken the input flow rate as 50 meter cube per second this means the volume of the water that is entering into the tank in per one second that is equal to 50 meter cube and the output flow rate, I have considered that as a 25 meter cube per second as the valve opening is 25 percent. To do the mathematics easily, as well as to develop the control algorithm easily, I have taken all relations linearly. So now, 50 meter cube per second is the volumetric flow rate we are going to get at the inlet of the pipe when the valve is at 50 percent open. Now, 25 meter cube per second is the output flow rate we are getting here when the valve is at 25% open. Again, I repeat this point. In practical situation, the relations need not to be linear. And many times it won't be linear. But for understanding purpose, I am considering linear relations so that you will be able to understand the things in the uh, easy way. Now, let us look at the dimension of the tank. As I said, the tank height is around 2 meters and this also I marked it as 1 meter. Now, if you look at the water level in the tank, can rise from 0 meter to 2 meter. Right? So the water level in the tank at any particular time it is indicated like HM. HM is actually nothing but the measured water level inside the tank and that varies from 0 meter to 2 meter. Correct? No? Because if the tank is empty water level will be 0 meter and if the tank is full then the water level is 2 meter. Now in instrumentation we have studied many times at many contests that a transmitter converts the variable, physical variable into a standard current. Right? So here the physical variable is liquid level and the range of that is 0 meter to 2 meter. Now this will be converted into standard current that is 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere. What does it mean? If the tank is empty, then it will generate, that is transmitter will generate 4 milliampere current. Suppose if the tank is full, then it will go into uh, generate 20 milliampere current. So probably by this time you might understood this conversion, right? Once the measured value is given to the error detector, then the error detector will go into subtract 
this information as well as the desired value and the error signal will come to the controller now as i said even the electronic controller which is prepared by the operational amplifiers generate a standard current in the range of 4 mA to 20 mA now i would like to ask this question if it generates 4 mA to 20 mA then that 4 mA to 20 mA current will be converted to standard pressure that is 3 psi to 15 psi this 3 psi to 15 psi will be converted to 0% opening 0% to 100% opening 100% clear so 0% open means valve will be closed 100% open means valve will be open i have explained so many things here now let me discuss the variables names of the variables what we are using here so the desired water level uh, whatever we require that is called set point and the water level which will be obtained from the process that will be called as a process variable or measured variable right so now whatever the current that we are receiving from the level controller that is called as controller output and whatever the output signal we are getting after i to p converter that is actually called manipulated signal or actuation signal and that will be given to the control wall at the end so the primary target of all this thing is at the end the water level should be at our desired position this point should be very important now let us see what will going to happen in industries if you are an engineer and if you are working in any process industry inside the control room you will go to have a monitor in which time will be displayed like this let us say now the time is 9 am and just below that on the monitor you will be able to see a box which indicates the set point and it will also indicate process variable it will also indicate error and controller output and pneumatic signal okay so if it is the latest technology you will be able to see all the signals on the screen very clear so let us look at like this suppose if the water level is at 0.5 meter let's consider that the water level initially is at 0.5 meter and this is 50 meter cube per second and this is 25 meter cube per second so what does it mean input flow rate is more than output flow rate that means the water level slowly increases in the tank for time being at present the water level is 0.5 meter if the water level is at 0.5 meter now you can visualize clearly from the linear relation here we can easily find the value of the current that comes here will be equals to 8 milliampere correct no? so let me use another color here so this will be equals to 8 milliampere current right if the engineer entered the set point here as 1 meter what does it mean if he enters the set point as 1 meter it means engineer is expecting the water level should be at 1 meter now when the engineer enters this as a 1 meter we will consider the set point as 1 meter okay so this set point when it comes to instrumentation level that will be automatically converted to a current signal of nearly equals to 12 mA let us say like this 12 mA what does it mean 1 meter height of the water now it is calibrated like 12 mA current now this is 12 mA right now we have 0.5 meter water level which is ca uh, calibrated or converted into 8 mA now how much is there we require 12 mA but right now we have only 8 mA so the error signal will be given as 4 mA current clear so now when the error signal is equals to 4 mA current let's consider that the control is also generating uh, some value here 8 mA current let's consider like this let us look at that what will going to happen so when it is 8 mA <coughs> then it will going to generate 6 psi pressure right so when it is generate 6 psi pressure so as i said 3 psi will be 0% 15 psi will be 100% and if it generate 6 psi pneumatic signal then the valve will be at 25% open and the volumetric flow rate which is coming out is equal to 25 meter cube per second clear so now my question is how much you want water level we want the water level should be at 1 meter right but unfortunately we have some error here we have some error here means this water level what we require 
and whatever the water level that is present in the um, tank both will not be same now let us see how the monitor looks like here right now by the time when we enter 1 at 9 o'clock the process variable here how much it is 0.5 meter okay so 0.5 meter is a process variable that is water level here is process variable 0.5 meter now what is the error now error if you consider in meter 1 minus 0.5 or else if you consider in current that is going to be 4 milliamps. So here on the monitor, let me give the details in meters. So 1 minus 0.5, so that will be equal to 0.5 meter. So this means 50% error is there right now, right? So now at that situation, the controller output is giving around 8 milliampere current. Now when it is generating 8 milliampere current, now the pressure that is um, generated by I2P converter is equal to 6 psi. Now this 6 PSA will go to open the wall to 25% and thereby we are having 25 meter cube per second. Now look at what will going to happen. As the input flow rate is more than output flow rate, if you wait for some time, if you don't do anything, if you wait for some time, slowly the water level will go to increase. Am I right? Yes. Let us wait for 10 seconds of time. So that means after 10 seconds of time, if you see our set point will not change because this is the one what we are expecting. Right? But the process variable, slowly it will going to change. Let us say the process variable almost reach to 1 meter. So whether it will going to reach 1 meter in 10 seconds or not, that depends on many factors. That is the area of cross section of this um, tank as well as resistance of these walls and it depends on many factors. But let's consider that after 10 seconds, the water level reach to 1 meter. So if the water level reaches to 1 meter, let's see what will going to happen here. So if the water level reaches to 1 meter, then automatically the level transmitter will going to generate current that is proportional to this water level. So here we are going to get 12 milliampere. So it is a simple linear logic. I request you, please, uh, you people please calculate this. We are going to get 12 milliampere current. Now the great thing about this problem here is as the error detector, subtract this value and this value, that is IS minus IM, that means set point minus measured value, then 12 milliampere minus 12 milliampere, it will going to become like 0 milliampere. Right? So that means the error value will be 0. So that indicates that here 0 meter is the error. So what does it mean? It means now the percentage of error is 0. Right? So now when the error is 0, probably it should keep the current at 12 milliampere. If it generates really 12 milliampere current, then it will going to become 9 psi pressure. And if it becomes 9 psi pressure, then this will be at a 50% opening. Correct? If it is at 50% opening, then this value of flow rate, output flow rate will be equal to 50 meter cube per second. If the output flow rate is at 50 meter cube per second, then Input flow rate and output flow rate both will going to become same. If input flow rate and output flow rate both are same, then the water level will going to stop or stagnate at this point. That means further the water level will not increase further. Clear? So that means water level will going to stop exactly at 1 meter if this flow rate and this flow rate if both are same. What does it mean? When the process variable is equal to 1 meter, at the time when the error is 0 meter, then the controller output is going to be equal to 12 milliampere. Clear? It will going to generate 12 milliampere. When it is generating 12 milliampere, I2P converter will going to generate 9 psi pressure. Clear? 9 psi pressure. Most of the thing, uh, students, they think like this. Sir, how it is possible? Suppose if it, if it generates 0 milliampere, why the level controller should generate 12 milliampere? Let us see like this. Suppose, if it generates 0 milliampere, what will going to happen? When the error is 0, if it is generating like 4 milliampere current, let us see what will going to happen. If it generates 4 milliampere current, then this pressure will be 3 psi here. Right? So if this pressure is 3 psi, then what will happen? If it is 3 psi, then this will be 0% open. That means the valve will be fully closed. Right? If the valve is fully closed, then the flow rate will going to become here 0 meter cube per second. If the flow rate becomes 0 meter cube per second, as the input flow rate is already very high, that is 50 meter cube per second, 
suddenly the water level will going to jump above 1 meter clear this is the reason why when the error is 0 milliampere you supposed not to get the output from the controller as 4 milliampere your output should be at 12 milliampere why if it is 12 milliampere then only it will become 9 psi if it is 9 psi then only it will be at 50% open then only it will going to be 50 meter cube per second then the water level will going to stagnate clear so this means at 9 o'clock when the engineer entered the set point as 1 meter within 10 seconds or exactly at 10 seconds i already told you the time depends on many factors that is resistance of the wall and the area of cross section of the tank and many other factors now when we enter at 9 9 am 1 meter after 10 seconds the process variable that is the water level in the tank reached to 1 meter so that error is equal to 0 meter but at that time the controller output is equal to 12 milliampere clear and when the current is 12 milliampere pneumatic signal is equal to 9 psi now whatever the current we got when the error is 0 when the error is 0 milliampere this particular current is actually called as offset of the controller that means controller offset when the error given to the controller is zero the amount of the output generated by the controller is called as controller offset now this is going to be the offset pressure of the i2p converter so this means we have given the set point at 9 am and within 10 seconds the water level reached to 1 meter right so this is called steady state point if the process variable is disturbed by either the external disturbances or the internal disturbances then how the closed loop control system will going to react to this disturbance that means how the controller will going to reduce the effect of disturbance on the process variable this things we are going to discuss in the second part hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and if you want to find more of this kind of questions connect to my channel namaste